Welcome back to my channel. My name's Penny. I'm a mum of two and uh, a mum of many fur babies, as I always say. And one's probably going to pop up in a minute to join me on my video because she usually does. Um, today I'm going to move my tripod. Oh, that's better. Today I am bringing you a charity shop haul and a little bit of things a little bit of things <laughs> a few things that i brought in the boot sale that we went to on saturday um that i've already shown on my boot sale vlog but for those of you who didn't watch it i'm going to show them again um on this vlog so i'm going to do the clothing first guys get those out of the way um I will give you prices and sizes as we go along, but I can't remember what charity shops I've got them from because we went to quite a few. <laughs> now, I can't remember if I've shown you this one, guys, because I bought this a couple of weeks ago and um, I came across it upstairs, still in a carrier bag. And I thought, well, have I shown it? Have I not? It was £5. As I said, I don't know what charity shop it was from. But it still has the label on Florence and Fred at Tesco at £14. Um, and it says made with 100% organic cotton. Now, if I've shown you guys, I do apologise. Um, but if I haven't, there it is. It's this beautiful, it's got a crossover neck down into the waist. It's a little dress. It's knee length, so just below the knee. Um, puffy sleeves that go into an elasticated elbow length um, cuff. That's well, not really a cuff, is it, if it's on your elbow? Um, this is rather big on me, guys, so I'm going to have to use a belt, but it is so pretty. And can you hear? It's so stiff. <laughs> oh my God, I'm off already. <laughs> my mind's always in the gutter, guys. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's been um, to a washing machine at all. It feels all crinkly. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> so it's beautiful. Lovely floral pattern on a black background. In at the waist, as I said. There's elastication in the waist. I don't think this one has pockets, which is a shame because I do love a pocket. No, it doesn't. But I thought for £5, considering it's got £14 on the label, or if you're in Ireland, that equates to, not even Ireland, Europe, 18, 18 euros. So, yeah, really like that. And that was number one. I've composed myself now. Oh, my God. Nightmare. I'm an absolute nightmare. Right, this is a Simply B. It was £3. I've taken the labels off the tops that I'm about to show you because they've been to the wash. But I can remember they were all £3, guys. This is a Simply B. It's a Bardo. Again, black with a floral pattern. On the back, it's lovely. It's got this little... Um, like a V, like a cutout. And if you're like me and you carry weight around your middle, um, that is a godsend because it'll sort of dart out over your bum <laughs> so it won't be too tight. So yeah, like that, I'm going to show you the sleeves now. They are cold shouldered, shouldered, and um, little, little ties there. Um, you could, I guess, leave them open and have them fluttery, just like an open fluttery butterfly type sleeve. But they came done up, so I'm going to leave them done up. So, yeah, like that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. 
this is how it looks with the back flap. <laughs> Regulars, you'll know anything. <laughs> I can't say anything without turning it into something that it's not. <laughs> I've got a dirty mind, <laughs> and even when I'm on my own, I do it. <laughs> oh my god! Right, compose yourself, Penny. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You might want to turn off now, guys. <laughs> Things are likely to go downhill. <laughs> right. Another three pound one. This was from Sheen. Sheen Curve. Now, this is a 4XL, guys. And I'm not a 4XL. I mean, I don't know what that was equate to. In Sheen, I'm a 2XL, which is an 18 to 20. So a 3XL, 20 to 22. So 4XL, that'd be a 22 to 24. I'm nowhere near that big, but it's a bardo again. So yeah, it's sort of, it goes to my shoulders, but it will look, you know, you could get a couple of me in there, but it's nice and flowy, voluminous, baggy. And then the sleeves, look at those. They were long, well, to the elbow, with this gorgeous flounce on. And it's a beautiful mustard. It's looking more orange on screen with a lovely floral pattern. It's lovely and voluminous and baggy. It'd be lovely and cool in the summer. Well, I say summer. Today it's been um, really muggy, really hot and muggy. As you can tell by the air, I've had to tie it up. It was sticking to me, literally plastered to my head. It was really, really hot. It still is. But it's gone a bit dull outside, so I think we're in for a bit of a storm. They haven't said, but I wouldn't be at all surprised. So yeah, there's that one. I buy these things, put them in bags, and think I'll film that later. I'll film that later, and like a week or more goes by, and I haven't filmed it. So some of them were bought prior to my little hunt in the charity shops on Saturday. Um, most of it was from Saturday, but some of it was bought prior. So, there's another one, lovely orange one from George. And it's another bardo. You can tell I like these bardo necklines and off-the-shoulder necklines. I also like the milkmaid necklines. So, it's a lovely orange. It's not quite as bright as the camera is showing it. Again, off the shoulder and little flouncy sleeves. Nice and flowy for the summer. I should have done this as a try on, but it's been so hot. I was going to get really, really sticky getting undressed and popping them all on. I'd have been bathed in a horrible bath of sweat. That wouldn't have looked good, guys. It wouldn't have looked good. So I'm really sorry that it's not a try on. I hope you don't mind. Then this one is a two it's a two one it's gorgeous i love this one it's all sheared 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 how do you say it i don't know at the best beautiful puff sleeves with gorgeous little elasticated bits on the end it sits gorgeous it sort of sits on the shoulders there all elasticated it comes right under the best it's long enough for even the biggest of bests. There's nothing worse when they do the shearing and it stops there and it cuts your best off halfway. This one is plenty big enough, just comes right under the best and then it flounces out in a little peplum at the bottom. It's beautiful. And it's got, can you see the pattern on it? Almost like a cheesecloth pattern, even though it's a stretchy material. I think that's going to be my favourite. I love it. And that's going to be so versatile. It's going to go with so many things. Then I've got two more tops. <laughs> this one is from 
Primark, but it's an old one because it's Atmosphere. Three pounds again, guys. And it's a patchwork. It's got a peplum at the bottom. It's got sleeves with a crochet bit halfway up the arm and then they puff out into a like a bell sleeve I guess the front of it has got crisscross lacing there so it's very boho and it's got crochet it's really boho looking and I loved it black cream beige brown I thought it would go with so many things and I love boho I really do so yeah happy with that and then the last top now I know this one does have a label on it because I did buy this on Saturday it was 350 and it was from in the style and there's the price And it's a very pretty, it's like cream with a floral pattern on it, really pretty. Then it's got these little fluttery straps and then it's got fluttery frills that go down the bodice into an elasticated waist and a peplum. It is so, so pretty. Love it, absolutely love it, it's really, really pretty. I'm only halfway through guys and we're already on 11 minutes so I should have split it now I've got three pairs of linen trousers two are brand new with tags on I love linen trousers in the summer they're the wide leg ones love them in the summer um but I went to get mine out and they didn't fit me sadly they did not fit me so I found these in the charity shop and I was buzzing because I do love a linen so they're not my usual style because they've got elasticated waists and the ones that are too small for me now had zip and button and they were a lovely fit. But I can deal with an elastic <laughs> doing it again. I can deal with an elasticated waist. I'll just put a top over the waistband. Now they were £4.50. They are originally from Bon Marche and they do have the label on them 20 pounds it says linen blend there i'm gonna show you so as i said elasticated waist pockets and pockets they got front and back pockets they're sewn up the back ones but they are functional then we've got a drawstring to pull the elasticated waist in. I just hope being elasticated, I just don't grow into them. You tend to, don't you? <laughs> That's why I like the zip and button ones. You can keep an eye on how much weight you're putting on. Not that I've kept an eye on this, guys. Come on. But <laughs> lovely wide leg, long length linen trousers. Love them. And... Some of those tops that I've just shown you are going to go gorgeous with it. Look at these. So there's the linen in the beige. Look at that one. Look how nice that's going to go with it. Or the flower one that I've just shown you. Look how nice that's going to go with this beige colour. Love them. So that's number one. Then I've got exactly the same in a black. Again, same ones, £20 on the label, linen blend, same price, four fifty. Um, probably donated by the same person. Black. Who don't like black? Oh, here she is. Can I say hello then? You're going to say hello? No, she's come for a sleep this side. My little Luna. <laughs> You're going to come and say hello to everyone. There we go, look. There she is, guys. There she is. She's just woken up, haven't you? you just woken up, my baby girl. Have you? Going back to sleep? There we go. So, as I was saying, who don't like black? Same again. Two slant pockets. Ties on the waist. Back pockets. 
and again a lovely wide leg so black are a staple so they will go with literally everything I love my jeans guys but in the summer I don't know if it's my fibro or what but I swell um, the heat, it just makes my body swell, my feet swell, my ankles swell, everything swells and nothing will fit me. And I get really ratty when I'm trying to get dressed and everything's sticky and hot and I'm struggling to pull my jeans up. So loose dresses, linen trousers, that sort of thing, that's me throughout the summer. Can't stand feeling enclosed, I really can't. But then in the winter, I love my skinny jeans and boots. Can't win really. <laughs> Then this last pair, they're a white pair. These were only $1.99. They are from yours. They don't have a new label on. $1.99. Um, they don't have a new label on. Different person, I guess. Or the same person and they're not new, I don't know. But again, linen. Two slant pockets and the ties on the waist. And these ones have flap pockets on the back they're not sewn down and they are functional functional <laughs> and um wide legs again so they're looking more beige on the camera but they're white true white so yeah that's my summer trousers sorted where are we going now these i bought these in cerebral palsy shop and they were 6 99 and they are Vans trainers a lovely pink pair of Vans they are unworn completely unworn they look you know like when they've been stored and they're a bit creased they've got that look about them they're a beautiful pink colour Perfect inside, no marks at all on either one. They definitely haven't been worn. Six ninety nine, guys, for a pair of fans. You can't go wrong, can you? And being pink as well, they're beautiful for the summer. So I was chuffed to bits with those. Right, I'm going to go on to some jewellery bits. Now, some of this I've already shown. These were born, born. <laughs> these were bought at the boot sale. So I picked up this gorgeous little heart necklace. Gorgeous little heart earrings. I have to say, guys, they're brand new on the back. They haven't been worn. These have got the, they were five pounds somewhere. I don't know where they were bought from. But they've got the price still on them. The lady assured me they hadn't been worn. She also had these ones. Where are they? I've just put another pair of earrings there and I can't find them. Well, somewhere... There is another pair of earrings. How strange. Ah, go on. Right, there they are. They've fallen down and I couldn't see them. So, good grief, we're on 18 minutes already. I love these. She had them in the box, but she asked if she could keep the box for putting other things in. She had lots and lots of jewellery on her stall. And there are these beautiful droppers. I love them. But these bits at the top can come out and you can wear those as a stud and then you've got the dropper separately. So I thought that was a really good idea. Or you could even hang that bit on a hoop. These were, I can't remember, this was Saturday. I think they were all £2 each, the heart earrings, the heart necklace and that. This was a pound, this one. This was from a charity shop. It's a lovely long necklace and it's got these three hoops. I love it. 
one's fallen off. Oh, it's easily fixed. I can see where that's fallen off. Anyway, it's got three hoops. <laughs> that was a pound. Then there was this necklace, and I, I've already shown this. It was in a box, gold reserves, and it was very tarnished looking, and I thought that was a ruby. I brought it home, it was two pounds, Brought it home and washed it in toothpaste because that's what I do to tarnish jewellery. And it's an amethyst with stones. I presume they're I presume they're cubic zirconias. And it's got a lovely silver chain with it, a trace chain. Now it's not going to be very long. It does have an extender on it that I can make it a little bit longer, or I can put it on a different chain. But I just thought it was so pretty. So yeah, that was two pounds. And then the final bit of jewellery, guys, I can't believe. Um, um, I've had quite a few comments on this saying it's real. I've been online and I've looked, I've researched, and I believe it is real. I paid five pounds. Vivian Westwood, the box is a bit dirty and it's a bit marked on the back. But I opened it up and nestled in some tissue paper was this. Now I'm assuming or I thought it was um, a fake junk jewellery, whatever you want to call it, costume jewellery. Um, but apparently you can tell by how it's attached. They're little balls, little silver balls there close to the first pearl. Now if they were fake, they would be flat. Um, like, oh, like little, little round discs that had been crimped with the pliers, they'd be flat. But these are actual little balls. Each one is attached to the, well, obviously it's attached, but each little ball then is really close to the end pearl. It is marked on the back. Is the camera picking that up? Vivian Westwood. And um, there were there were a few tips on how to tell a reel from a fake. And a few people on here have commented. They watched my other video and said that they thought it was real too. Another way of telling is the clasp there that I've just done up. My camera isn't focusing too well. But yeah, I honestly believe that this is a genuine Vivian Westwood. And it was a fiver. So yeah, I am well happy. Really, really happy. Considering I thought it was a fake and I was happy. But finding out that it's potentially real and it's worth like 300 quid, I'm even happier. So yeah, I mean, I'm over the moon. Even the box, the embossing on the box, it's not printed on like you'd find a cheap one. It's actually embossed. And the stamp inside is um, raised, embossed. It's not just stamped in, you know? I mean, yeah, you can tell quality, can't you guys? And I believe it's real. <laughs> right. Enough of all that. <laughs> so happy. I really am happy. Um, bags. I brought this lovely little River Island bag. Little fringes. It's a nod to my biker chick days. It's really boho. And inside, it's big enough for a phone. Where's my phone there? Big enough for your phone, your card, your keys everything you need really so yeah happy with that one and it was three pounds and it's suede and the plaited strap i don't know if that's leather or not but yeah really really happy with that and then there was this guys again 
thought it was a fake. It was five pounds. It is Michael Kors. Been online. Stitching's all perfect. The bottom's all perfect. The feet are stamped Michael Kors. The rivets, they're all perfect. I thought because of the lock, <coughs> I'm thinking, oh, that lock just looks fake. Apparently not. Apparently it's a very, well, not very, but it's an old version, Michael Kors. Got the key. There. Michael Kors embossed the lock opens I will show you ah, I can't do it because of the leather on it I can't do it it would be typical <laughs> How embarrassing. There's me saying all this to you and I can't even open it. Hang on a minute, guys. Who's that? There's inside. It's coated in um, like a lamb's sheep leather, lamb's leather. That very, very soft, like chamois leather. And I don't know if you can see. It's got a Michael Kors branded label there um branding on the zip inside branding on the popper the only thing that's missing is the shoulder strap but i wouldn't wear a bag like this with a shoulder strap i would only ever use the handles and another thing guys it's leather it's not plastic it's not leather it's real leather. So, yeah, I think that's real. Tracy Jane, if you're watching, I know you love your Michael Kors. Let me know, love. Let me know if you think that is genuine. I mean, when I went online and checked it all out, it certainly seems to check out as genuine. But, yeah, £5. It's a lovely bag. I mean, I just bought it because I liked it. But, yeah, happy with that. And I bought Howard a leather jacket. Now I know this isn't genuine. It can't possibly be genuine. I paid seven pounds for it. Emporio Armani. Now it can't be real if it was only seven pounds. But say so now the lining is all EA. I don't know if you can see it in the black. Can you see? I don't know if I'm showing you properly. Can you see EA there? It's a beautiful, butter soft leather. It's genuine leather. Buttery soft, really nice. Um, it's got Armani on the... Got Emporio Armani on the studs. It's got two pockets in the front it's got a pocket inside all beautifully lined all with the Armani printed linings the stitching's perfect um what's this say on there yeah on the on the zip. I loved it and I told him it was better than the horrible jacket he's been wearing and he insists on wearing and he looks like a bloody old man. So he tried it on. It's a perfect fit. It looks really nice on him. Seven pounds. Happy days. I mean when I picked it up I thought it was pleather but it's that super buttery soft leather. Oh, you can smell it. It's lovely. It is so nice. I'm sorry to all the vegans and vegetarians, guys. I really am. But, yeah, love that. Right, 
then a little while ago I don't know if you can remember I bought a picnic basket with um, a red cotton lining inside um, and I give it to my sister but her cat has taken it over as his bed he lives here he climbs inside and hides so I've been on the lookout for another one and I got one it was two pounds it's got two little carry handles there I mean, it's nothing special it's not a particularly well-made one or anything but it'll do for her cat stick some material in there so i just hit myself in the face stick some material in there to line it i still got the receipt inside but yeah little basket for my sister's cat and on the way out they had some hand sanitizers for 50 pence each so i grabbed two <laughs> so guys that's all 30 minutes wow <laughs> that was a long ass video if you like this sort of content if you like charity shops if you like boot sales if you like b&ms and poundlands and anything like that because that's my content please consider giving me a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button down by there somewhere it would mean the world to me guys it really would i'm trying to grow my channel um yeah for now i'm gonna say thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video which is going to be a shein try on so bye for now guys and i'll see you all soon Mwah. bye <laughs>